Hi, I'm Denshi, and today I'm going to be discussing my favorite tech or operating system, Linux, just tech enthusiast websites and wikis. So the kind of stuff that I would go on and look for recommendations for software to use, hardware to look at, and all this kind of stuff. So I'm going to try to cut straight to the chase, but I just want to give a little bit of a prelude to this. If you're out there and you want to learn how to use a piece of software, do not do this. Do not go into your terminal and type in man ffmpeg or something and expect to learn a lot from this. Now yes, I quite like the man command because it's highly useful if I want to learn about, let's say, the LS software, which is a very simple piece of software. It's a Unix software and it has options which are easy to understand. It has a purpose that is relatively simple. It's a minimalist piece of software. But when it comes to large software like ffmpeg, for example, these are a little bit harder to learn. <laughs> They're a little bit more complicated. And something like a manual page may not work for everybody, and I don't think it works for most people, really. So today I'm going to be discussing the wikis I find the best for learning about, you know, software, choosing the software you actually want, finding good software and hardware, and just generally the best websites. So the first one I'd say to consult is the Install Gen 2 Wiki. I'm pretty sure if you watch this channel, you probably already know what the Install Gen 2 Wiki is, but just as a refresher, it's the G Technology Image Board's real wiki. It's essentially the G image board condensed into a wiki with all the information that would be probably shared in an angry reply to a post from somebody who doesn't really know any better. And the answers are always going to be here most of the time. In fact, its name in of itself is an answer, or at least a hysterical one. Install Gen 2 is a common reply that you would find on the image board because it's funny to tell somebody who is having like an error in Windows to install Gen 2. It's a difficult to install distribution. It's funny. And now I've just ruined the joke by explaining it. Let's begin by looking at the most basic things you can find on this. So there's hardware and software that's the split in the popular topics. There's a lot of stuff you could find on here, like the baby's first Linux guide or, or things like guides on how to choose a programming language or something. Let's take a look at, I don't know, Windows Ricing. That's something a little bit obscure, relatively, and not a lot not a lot of people rice windows now, do they? So you'll see that it has a lot of lot a lot of information about what to use to rice windows to get it looking good. The kind of tools that you would need. I don't really recommend using Windows, so I guess we can always take a look at GNU Linux Rising. And there's a quite a lot of interesting things here. Like for example, the desktop environments to choose the window managers, the list of window managers you can choose. So software you could be using. There's a lot of interesting things you can find here. I don't know, there's even things like, let's say I want to find a piece of software, no, sorry, a piece of hardware. I want to buy a laptop. Laptop buying guide right here. It explains the basics of what, what you should try to get. The gaming computers, Chromebooks, MacBooks is pretty funny but all this kind of stuff that you could find. And it's got, you know, I, reading through this, it's very, very well written, but it's not as well written as the next wiki I wanna talk about, because the installed Gen 2 wiki is really general when it comes to tips. It's not very, how would I say, it's more theory than it actually is practice. It's just software you could use and, and things like that. I recommend the Arch Wiki for practical advice. Regardless of what distribution you're using, the Arch Wiki probably has the answer. Let's say I'm using a tiling window manager, or let's say I'm using a program like Tint2 for a bar or whatever. It's essentially a program that opens up a little sort of taskbar on your computer. Now, chances are, if that piece of software exists and enough people use it, there's gonna be an Arch Wiki, you know, article about it. So Tint, Two, right here in the search, press enter, and boom, it's already redirected me to the Tint2 page. And it's got information about how to install it. Well, this is for Arch Linux specifically. How to configure it, what you can do to change it, all the various key bindings that there are by default, application menus in OpenBox, so that's how to set things up in OpenBox, because Tint2 is commonly used there. Things as simple as, oh, how to set up in different desktop environments, how to have like auto starts in i3 or whatever. And the thing about the Arch Wiki is that a lot of people say it's really well written, quote unquote. The truth is it's not well written, it's actually just written by people who are having the issues. If you're going something like the Debian wiki, it's very relatively antiquated, like Debian itself. The reason is, is because people using Debian aren't mostly actively contributing. If you're an Arch Linux user, you're probably an enthusiast about Linux, and you're going to want to contribute to the project any way you can, whether it be through contributing to the wiki articles, or contributing packages to the AUR, or even the community repositories, something like that. You're going to want to 
contribute because it's an active community. And Arch itself is a rolling release distribution. So the packages that come out on Arch Linux are always the latest. And to be the latest, they actually have to be checked and approved. And you know, most of the time, most of the time it's just basic testing, then they're sent off or even automatically done, which isn't exactly the best practice. That doesn't work out perfectly most of the time. Most of the time it's perfectly fine. But that's the basic idea. Arch Wiki is fast. It's more updated. And most importantly, it's well written, quote unquote, basically, it just means that people are having the errors that they want to have or don't want to have, but they're having people are having the errors that they're having. And they're explaining the reasons they had them. And people are having the errors that they have. People are having the errors that they have. And they'll write exactly how to set up the software in a way that will ensure these errors don't happen. That's why the Arch installation guide is so minimalist, yet still so effective. If you don't do one of the things in the Arch installation guide, you're probably going to mess up your system. But if you, you know, do all of them, you'll probably just be fine. Anyway, moving on to another documentation I quite do like, the suckless.org website. Now, Suckless makes pretty good pieces of software. I don't use a huge amount of their stuff, but some of it is really good. And, you know, they only make like a couple of things, really DWM, SD, and Surf. That's the main things they do. However, they have a great page on their website called Rocks. Not about actual rocks, but about software that rocks. So software they think is cool. And this is full of some of the best software you could be using. Minimalist stuff that is free and open source. So for example, these are li libc implementations, like things like, this is more like developer things, cproc, gbe, scc, compilers, first the c programming language, compression programs, cryptography, so libre SSL, which is just an alternative to open SSL, because open SSL had a vulnerability, I think it's called Heartbleed vulnerability. Uh, miscellaneous programs, I think these are like something, I don't really know what most of these are. However, there are some pretty cool things down here in the program section. There's audio players, like the CMuse. CMuse is an excellent audio player. Open up my terminal and then type in CMuse. Got all the music right here. Look at that. Pretty good. Uh, there's also programs like SXIV, which is a simple X image viewer. I think it is somewhere here down. I think it's image viewers here. So SXIV, it's a great simple X image viewer and it's super minimalist. It just works really, really well. There's things like IRC clients to recommend. There's Gopher clients that I'd say if you're using the Gopher web protocol for some reason. There's file managers they like, Noise, Ranger, all these kind of things. There's image viewers, like I said before, instant messaging clients, mail clients they like, media players they enjoy, MPP is quite good, and notification daemons and password managers and all this kind of stuff. PDF viewers like so through a PDF. All these things are relatively minimalist and free and open source pieces is a software. They're really, really good, and I recommend most of them uh, if you are if you need that kind of software. So if you're out there looking for a compiler, if you need a really good image viewer or a really good video player for your Linux machine, you're stuck with something bloated from your desktop environment or something, consult the suckless.org website because it will likely have the great alternatives you're looking for. The final page I want to talk about is the kernel.org page. What this is, is it contains different you know pieces of information for all the various components of the kernel. This is more useful if you're a kernel programmer or someone who has to look at things that are very, very kernel level. So something like, let's say, Linux Wireless. Open this up, it will open up the wireless section of the wiki. So as you can see, it's a wiki about Linux Wireless. And the thing is, this is for much more advanced users, people who are looking to do Linux from scratch or complicated Gen 2 stuff and that kind of thing. But it still is an excellent piece of documentation to go to kernel.org. So, I've been Denshi. These are my favorite websites for learning about everything to do with GNU Linux and technology, just tech enthusiast websites. I'll have all these linked in the description. Goodbye.